11-year-old Samuel was brought in by his mother, who is a patient of ours, and his brother is also a patient of ours, Victor. Uh, he has neck pain. He has headaches every day. He has dizziness. He has carpal tunnel, restless leg syndrome, shoulder pain. But those are nothing compared to the car sickness he gets, the trouble reading because all the words vibrate, bedwetting every day of his life, can't sleep, tons of anxiety. I really feel for this kid. We're testing Samuel for some of his physical pain. You can see his legs wobble here, dizziness and balance is a huge issue pain in his knees and his back. We also tested his shoulders and his neck and this next one. You can see his pain. He's struggling. Take a look at that atlas. Completely worn out and horizontal. Let's fix him. How painful is that? 10. My name is Samuel and I'm 11 and I am homeschooled. My neck hurts. So how long does your neck hurt? A lot. And uh, you also get headaches, don't you? Yes. Where do you get your headaches? Show us where you get your headaches. On top. On top of your head? Show. Gotcha. Like, Is it right where the hair sticks out? Mm -hmm. Oh, Because maybe the hair grows out from his headache. <laughs> <laughs> I get dizzy sometimes. I get diz dizzy when I get car sickness. Sick. You get car sick severe. She says severe car sickness. Severe. severe car sickness. Can you tell us what that means? What is severe car, car sickness um, like? Where we have to pull over sometimes. We have to carry bags. Um, really? Even though it's hot, cold outside, we have the windows down because he's... He's that bad. Yes. Gotcha. My hands get sleepy. And I mean, my hands go to sleep and my legs go to sleep. All the time, right? Every day? Not the same time, different times? Different it's, times. He says when he sleeps and sometimes or sits, sits when he sits it happens, and he says when he lays on them they go they can go uh, sleep too. Uh, tell us about him reading words. You want to say it, or you want me to say? It? Um, the words, the letters vibrate or they, um, it's uneven. Yeah, uneven. How do you know that? He tells you that. Yes. Gotcha. And he gets good grades, so it's not like he's uh, dyslexic or something. Maybe he is dyslexic, but he still be. he still gets um, good grades, but he has trouble reading the words, so it takes him longer. And so, uh, again, how is chiropractic going to help him? Well, when I balance the body, I can help the cranial nerves, which are attached to cranial number two, the optic nerve, for him to see better. So hopefully we touch on that, too. Tell us about the bedwetting, too, because uh, that's important for kids out there that still have trouble with that. He's not the only one. Um. Still to this day, every day, or sometimes, once every, a month. Every day. Every day. And we're going to give him the ability to stop that. The doctors wanted me to give him medicine. And you didn't do it? No. Gotcha. We have uh, sleep problems with him, too. Yes. Uh, anxiety for him, but just not as, I don't not, think it's as bad as his. No, yeah. No. The right shoulder hurts when I when I start throwing the football. Squat, please. Get down. How much pain in your knees or your back? My back, none. My knees, a little, uh, 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 five. Five, going to stand up? I didn't realize you had knee problems at all. Now, with your right arm, take it and put it above your head, please. How much pain in your shoulder? Zero. Zero, now put it back, put it behind your back like this. How about that? Two. Two in the right shoulder? I mean, three. Three, got gotcha. you, put it down. X-rays aren't nearly as bad as Victor's, um, but he still has the same kind of uh, atlas problem. It's not completely inverted. It's pretty horizontal, but he has a lot of wearing on it. I think he has about a half wear on it, so there's definitely some issues there. Um, his neck is high reversal also. I think they sleep very similar. That's what I'm thinking in my head, and so mother's gonna take some pictures for me. Um, the rest of the spine, less scoliosis, less everything. His constipation actually looks worse, even though he says he goes to the bathroom every day. Samuel's x-rays show a nine millimeter imbalance and right TMJ. Here we have seven degree spinal curve and constipation. Here, one third atlas wear and a high neck reversal impacted wisdom tooth there. And we have confirmation of that gut issue in this picture. Okay, that's cool. How painful is that? 10. Really? It was that Maybe bad? Maybe nine. No, but seriously, I'm sorry about that. Okay, let's go this way here. Good. Is that still a 10? Yes. Interesting, because it didn't feel like a 10 to me. And so he's going to respond really well, because if those were 10s, that means I, I made monster changes. I love working on kids because they have monster changes like I was talking about, because their bodies are so young, they respond so well. So I'm instructing 
Samuel here, not to twist or turn. I will undo my work, and we're gonna listen to see how he's doing. Sometimes I used to sit, like when I used to slouch, um, it kind of feels different because when uh, sometimes, sometimes when I slouch, my under part hurts, but uh, I feel that when I, now it's not really hurt. And What's your under part? Like right here in the back, and sometimes when I say it, it doesn't hurt. It I think I also hurts. turn on his language skills too. He's talking like a million miles a second right now. Yes, yes. You notice the difference? It's a big difference. <laughs> yes. I mean, there's like a thousand more words and he's spoken all day to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, kiddo. Just an interesting observation. Uh, I'm glad you feel a little better. Anything else? And that and my neck feels straight. Good, good, good. Samuel's doing so much better. We're going to make him even better by having him walk down the hall. We call this recalibration, like many of you know. When you do this, you spread that adjustment from the neck down to his little toesies, and so he's going to get a lot better. Can't wait to hear how he's doing now. It feels like... Is there right there on the door? It feels like I'm walking a little bit faster. When I stand for a really long time, or a couple of minutes, it feels like an hour, but... and. And it starts hurting, and then uh, my feet start hurting. But now it feels like it's not that hurting that much because it starts hurting in a couple Lots of Lots of seconds. prepositional phrases there, dude. Lots of prepositional phrases. I love it. Good. Squat to the ground. Okay, now hands off the, knee, hands off the knees. How much, uh, go and stand up. How much knee pain? That was a five, I think, a minute ago. Mm -hmm. One. One, a little less, right? Now take your right arm, put it above your head. That was no pain there, now put it behind your back. That was a three. Zero. That's a zero? Zero now. Good. Why aren't you crying? You take after your dad, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a high five. What do you think so far, sir? Mm. I feel a little bit better. Good. Now, why don't you tell them how this is different than the other chiropractor you saw? Because once I, and like, um, if I went to, when I went to the chiropractor, it, it when he um, did it, it lasted um, like two and day, two days before, it, two days after. It um, was after we went to the chiropractor. It only lasted two days, but and and that and it feels different because when he did it, it felt weird. But and, and now and once I and went into this chiropractor, it felt. Well, Mm, good and it, it felt good. Good, okay. <laughs> Very good. Okay, let's take it away, Samuel. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> this is four days later after the last video, and uh, he's had a couple days and not been in here. So he's doing better, I would say, but I'm gonna let Samuel tell us what has, what has happened the last couple days, sir. Better sleep. Okay. And I. I haven't felt really my back and my back hasn't really been hurting but it has but hurting less you mean sort of hurting less gotcha and so how much did it used to hurt it used to hurt a lot did it hurt more and you, then you, you didn't tell your mom all the time I didn't tell my mom all gotcha the time. and so uh, you came in also for your shoulder how's your shoulder it feels good okay you haven't thrown a football yet, so you don't really know yet, but how's your neck pain? Your neck said is better, but how about your headaches? How about your headaches? No more headaches. No more headaches, really? Mm-hmm. Cool. And then you have uh, your numbness in your hands. Remember that? Yeah. Have we talked about that the last couple of days? Have you told your mom, or have you felt anything in your hands? I felt things. I felt uh, there's been no numbness in my hands. There has been none? There's is that unusual, or does that happen all the does it happen every day with numbness in the hands, or is that a little better than it used to be? 
it's better than it used gotcha, to be. Gotcha, cool. And then um, how about heartburn? Do you have heartburn very much? Not really. Yeah, he used to have it a lot. He used to have it a lot, but he hasn't happened a lot, a lot lately, right? So no heartburn the last couple days, right? Um, the trouble reading. I want to know about the reading. He's taken a bunch of uh, placement tests for school. And so tell us, has the reading been easier to read? Yes. Tell us how it's been easier. It well, hasn't been vibrating and the, some of the letters has, hasn't been moving. Is that cool? Yes. Good. I love it. And then uh, the big thing, oh, vertigo. You're a little dizzy too when you wake up in the morning. How's that been? I haven't been dizzy. Hasn't been dizzy at all? The last one is bedwetting. It's the big one for me. That's uh, the one that I, I thought we were going to solve. We Out of four days, we only had one day that's been bad. I mean, one day that's good. I'm sorry. One day good. Uh, but that's the day we had this thing. We had mom wake him up at 4:30, and so uh, I still think it's a home run because she said she tried this in the past, waking up every three hours, and he still was peeing in his bed. Yes. So at least she did it one time, and it worked. It did. So we have an exercise for him that he's gonna. I, I say that because he's 11, and he's never ever checked himself. He doesn't listen to his body to go pee. So I'm gonna have him set the alarm at 4:30. We're gonna wake his ass up, and he's gonna do it. And he says. We had a long discussion about it. He's going to do it because he wants to get better. And he's not going to do this whole thing where he waits for his mother to coddle him and wake him up slowly and massage his neck. <laughs> Look at him. Yeah, uh, so he's going to do it because he wants to do it, right, Samuel? Yes. Perfect. Good. So uh, anything else you want to share with us, sir? Anything else that uh, may feel better or worse that you haven't told us about? You haven't talked about anything else? No. Gotcha. I do. Yes. Good. Uh, so usually whenever Samuel talks or chit chats or whatever, uh, it's like, so, uh, uh, and, uh, Oh, interesting. So, so you say he, he it's has, very paused. It's very paused. He has, he has, he has pauses and because he's not thinking straight. Yes. I think, I think it has to catch up with him. No, like, I get it. I get it. I don't know. And, uh, it's like he's a chatterbox. La 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 la. It just goes on and on since and on. Him. Since you the first night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second night. We noticed in the video, right after the video, he was talking up a storm. We go, do you hear him talking? He couldn't stop talking. And this is the guy who's shy on camera. And he talked oh, a ton of words. Yes, yes. Now, we didn't really care about all those words, but he wanted to tell yeah. us about them. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's connecting. It's very exciting. Yeah, it's exciting, right? It and so chiropractic again, I said in this other video of his brothers is that chiropractic is not about just pain. It's not about his shoulder pain, his back pain. It's about making the body better balanced, which allows the brain to function better, which allows to take the pain away. But I, the pain is just a, a a way to grade whether we're helping him or not. But we're just happy to you know get his brain working. And again, think about it. He's reading words better. What if he had this vibration with his letters for the next ten years? What kind of kid? He'd be in prison probably because he'd be. I hope not. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he could, now he now he can read because kids who can't read they sometimes become bad because why? Because they think I, I'm not I'm good at school. Him. Exactly, I'm not getting it. So, but he's not not getting it. His brain wasn't catching up. So I feel like uh, I'm part of this family now, and they're getting. <laughs> yes. Yes. Good. I kind of look like the family too. No, I'm, a little, I'm Chinese, but. <laughs> You know, I, I could pass for Filipino a little looks, bit, right? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Gotcha. And I like uh, porc adobo too, by the way. <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> you, you don't make it, do you? No, I don't ah! make it. <laughs> <laughs> I tried. That was a hint. <laughs> Anyways, uh, let's get you checked. Okay, so go ahead and sit back on the door, please. Good. Now I want to know how much pain that is. Still You're, a ten? No, not ten and nine. I mean eight. Oh, so only it's still eight, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, because there's still some kind of internal. Because if you playing video games, did you try to change? The, did you try to play video games in the chair instead of on the bed like you did? I play. I played video games on the chair. You tried? Yeah, we, we I play it on good. the chair now. What was it? What did it feel like in the chair? Really good. It felt better than the bed, right? We have yes. a thing for him on the seat. Good. And I got better at playing Halo. <laughs> Nice. But that was an eight also, right? Or a nine? It's a five. It's one week later. Uh, we did pretty good last week. Uh, you had one accident last. You had one good day last week. Three. No, no, the week before. I oh. saw the week before. And, then, and this is a new week. So you had, he had three good days this last week. So it's improving, right? 
And so uh, we had a big discussion with uh, Samuel about uh, taking accountability for himself, and he's 11 years old. I know people out there probably think he's too young to step up and be a man, but I'm asking him to do that. And so, uh, you know, I'm putting pressure on him to be accountable to himself. And he's agreed with me that he should, but we're still pushing him and we're still making progress. And we've, again, tripled the amount of days that we're doing better. I, I recorded back. I felt ago. good and no pain. And how about the pain? What do you think? I mean, I, I just picked on you a little bit. I told them what was going on. We're better. But where do you think you're at with it? Do you think you're getting better? What do you, th where, where do you think you feel? I think I'm getting better. Is that exciting to you? It's or exciting. To is it exciting? I hope so. Uh, he still can't wake up on his own yet, which I'm going. I told his mother to bring a pot and a pan in, and wake his ass up, and not do the "I love you, honey, wake up" <laughs> thing, because that will only make things worse. And I told him if he does not comply and wake up on his own in the future, we will all come over to his house and pee on him at 4:30 in the morning. <laughs> And he says, I will go to the bathroom. <laughs> we'll see, though, because I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> Sounds like fun to me. <laughs> How's I, his attitude this week? Good. Good, good, good. He's good. always a good Very attitude. Very peaceful. Yeah. Yeah, peaceful. Yes. What else um, are you going to say about? I was going to say um, sentence structure. Uh, before, it was kind of like the way he was speaking, uh, but it's improved a, a lot. I love it. I love it. I forgot. He has the visual disturbances, too. And the reading seems easy still, by the way. How's the, how's the reading going? Good. Well, Any for, problem with double vision? For me, well, I don't know about the double vision or how that's working, but the... Articulation? It, or... So much better. Articulation, too? Uh, the writing improved. More output for work has improved. Um, able to sit uh, and work on, his, on the computer and complete it. It's gotcha. improved. I love Everything it, love it, love it, love it. So again, this is really nice because I have the mother's input and the uh, patient's input, and so we're getting there. They're homeschoolers, so it's not like this is just a random thing that mom sees when he's doing homework. She knows this because she's also his teacher. So uh, wonderful, wonderful feedback. <laughs> wow. That was a lot. Can daddy see any difference in the kids at home? Can you see anything? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, pushing the same spot again. This was a seven a minute ago. What is Zero. That? So what does dad say to him? What does he notice difference in the kids? Uh, that he talks a lot. Oh, really? Yes. Um, Victor's behavior, yes. But he talks a lot more than he did. Oh, interesting. This one.